a lady who makes art with the help and the goodness and beauty of the miracle of life. I am a free thinker, free spirit from childhood. My father called me the point of the arrow, a born leader. He also called me the sunshine girl. When he tucked me into sleep, I would say, turn off the sun, meaning the light switch. He would laugh. I'm inspired by music, dance, um, walking in the park, listening to the breeze, I mean, smelling the flowers, um, just really doing my gardening in my yard, I get inspired. Collectors in my work notice that my art often doesn't have a bottom. Also, my artists from all the arts, rock and musical music, um, romantic poets like Elizabeth Barrett Browning and Robert Frost, dancers like Imogene Cunningham, painters like Cezanne, photographers like Andre Curtez, Arnold Newman, Maholi Naj. I seek to create my art with a positive slant. I write a poem about my thoughts I want to express and then um, I create the art or sometimes I do it in the reverse. University of South Florida was great for discipline, technique and follow through, which is very necessary to be a quality and prolific artist. Graduate school at Florida State University was perfect for the facility and the facility that made me be able to be free to develop my mural style and write my poetry as part of my thesis and also access to nearby Florida A&M University facility made it possible for me to publish my book, Photographs and Thoughts. A lot of creating art has to do with environment where one is, and it was perfect at USF and FSU and FAMU universities. I call my work a visual symphony because all the elements of my work have a statement in themselves, but what, what carries the message of my work is the combination of the elements. I love truth and kindness most of all. I see truth in nature and study the Tao Te Ching. I studied violin in grade school and then picked it up again in college. I choreographed for fun, was captured on local Tampa TV. I love to dance, love to make art, and view art that is uplifting and that supports a positive energy for growth and peace. Um, this is my yellow cloth, and um, again, I don't even remember how I found it or I got it, or I don't remember anything. I only know I've been using it for years in my work. Um, I was drawn to it because of the color. Yellow is my favorite color. They say the color of intelligence. I travel with my yellow cloth and photograph with it everywhere I go around the world. It is a symbol to me of motion, light, and energy. We are made of energy, and my yellow cloth symbolizes this in my work. You can see my models hold it. It blows in the wind in the tree branches, floats on a dock, and also I paint light through it in the darkroom. I have my yellow cloth and my dance on water piece here. So you can, but this is interesting. This one was not photographed on it. It was actually used in the process of the darkroom. I paint through light. I paint through light and I create the texture of the cloth in the work. So that's when I paint through light. Now these pictures, just to give you an example, were studies of a dancer I did in one of my pieces. And these are study pieces of the dancer with my yellow cloth. My yellow cloth is everywhere, like energy. I think a poem as a musical thought with words. I always try to exude a new, fresh approach to life. I feel this is a main ingredient that makes my art unique. Small with uh, little eyes and um, soy milk and a little honey. Vivian, do you want any? Where's Vivian? How about you, Jackie? <laughs> there was no choice. I knew about my calling when I was at a young age. I was lucky to have parents that supported my passion to make art. 
I received my first award in sixth grade for a drawing I did on bicycle safety, and it was first place. I was asked to design all the bulletin boards in fifth and sixth grades, and had my first solo exhibition in sixth grade of color pencil drawings of antique lamps. Ecology, the human element. The only animal that creates his world around death. The only animal that has the power to destroy Earth. Man is only a component, yet he acts godlike. He doesn't feel, wrapped up in one perspective. He can build concrete structures, change water directions, control air temperature, use fire to live in cold weather, water, air, fire, elements of life. Working in a gentle balance, a precarious one, it should not be human greed, take, take, and take for superficial comforts that last a short time. It takes a long time to replenish the earth. Do we have time? We don't think about it. Leave it to the next generation. Shove it under the rug. Take a shower for an hour. Use Freon for climate control. Losing the ozone? Oxygen. Tear down the trees for buildings and roads that are not used. Reckless barges with oil? The human element cannot be separated from the other elements or he will die. Man, only an ingredient in the polluted soup, the only animal that creates his world around death. When I was fortunate to find my great studio in Hell's Kitchen, Manhattan, my very first thought was, I want to share this wonderful space with others. Um, when I was on the subway and I got off the subway on 50th Street, um, there was the tiles on the wall of Alice in Wonderland. So I was so happy. I said, I'm going to see the studio space. And the first thing I see when I get off the subway on 50th Street is Alice in Wonderland tiles. And I felt like I'm like Alice in Wonderland, you know, in New York from Florida exploring. And I felt I'm, I'm going to my studio to see it, to see if I'm going to take the space. So when I saw this space, I fell in love immediately. It's got these beautiful stone walls. This building is a brownstone. It was built around 1856-ish. And I was drawn to the stone and the, and the oldness. I'm always attracted to old. And this building with the, with the stone wall, I was so happy. So the very first thought I said to myself, how can I share this space? I said, how can I share this space with others was my first thought because I was brought up to have humility and to share and to be a good person and so I, I said, and that's how Art for Healing was born. I said, I have a space. A lot of nonprofit organizations do not have a physical space, but I'm lucky that the space was amazing and I said, and then I, I came up with the name Art for Healing. So our mission basically is to bridge the gap between the visual and performing artists to share the healing power of their art with the public. So one project we have ongoing is our 9-11 book. This is a book that we published in 2011. It's poetry, writing, art, photography of the artists and people that were here. So it represents all the boroughs and New Jersey and Long Island. Welcome back on this Sunday morning. Now, as we approach the 10th anniversary of the World Trade Center attacks, of course, the pain that some of us have either dealt with or repressed, or that pain is sure to come rushing back. But there's a new book out. It's an interactive book that's meant to help us deal with that pain. It's called 9-11 NYC, The Days After, and it's sponsored by the group Art for Healing NYC. And the director, Lauren Ellis, is here with us this morning, along with one of the contributors to the book, Kama Linden, a singer and songwriter. Welcome to you both, and thank, thank you so much. Thank for coming you. in. Thanks for inviting us. No, no, it's a pleasure to have you here because we're all going to need this as we approach yes. this anniversary. I know it's been on the top of mind for so many people. And, and it's, as you said, it's all about art through healing. And we saw so much of that, particularly with children. And I know yes. some children have contributed yes. to the book. So tell us how it came to be. 
Well, um, I was here on 9-11. I'm the director of Art for Healing, and we just wanted to do something positive. You know, yeah. it's a peace and courage book. I mean, it's a hard subject, mm -hmm. but um, we have some really happy stories and, and some sad stories. But writing is healing. Music is healing. Visual art is healing. Mm -hmm. So by people writing about their, 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 healing, their, their pain is, is healing, and it's positive to share with others and to think of the good things in our lives. Yeah. Again, I am grateful to my loving support and parents who believe in my passion I have always had since childhood to be an artist. I am also very grateful for the constant encouragement and support of my art and from my first place award in sixth grade to the present from professionals in the art world as well as collectors of my work, friends, fellow professors and teachers, and people who believe and invest in my art. Thank you all for watching this video. Um, so there's a reason why things happen and we support each other so I believe in that also I believe that sometimes the elements that happen in your life now you might ten years later become um, influenced by something that happened and you do a piece of artwork based on something from your past so there's really in me to me in life no past or future it's all a continuum of time because life is so short and we have to make the most of it in the time we're here.